G'day, this is Michael, and we've got some coins to search right about now. So a bag of 20 cent coins, well, actually two bags, um, and then these rolls here. Now, what I'm going to do is break it into two sections. So one lot of coins you know, TikTok live, and then I'm going to jump over to YouTube and do the second lot of coins um, on a YouTube live. So I'd love to have people follow me across there if you'd like to, or if you've got access to, to YouTube. So um, well, let's go here. Oh, where do we start? We'll start with the 10 cent coins. We'll start here in the tens. How's it going, Charlie? All right, Marius, how's it going? Hopefully you've had a good one. You remember me from the other lives? Um, oh, I remember a Charlie name, yeah. Yep. Morning, Michael, the UK. G'day, David. How's it going? Okay, let's get these 10 cent coins into position. Get the right adequate amount of zoom. Any empty. Hello, hello. So we're looking for 1985s, 2011s, 1991s. Appreciate the likes, thank you. Um, what else? 1997s, 1991s, 2016 changeover coins. 966, you look for rotations on the coins. Yeah, oh, here we go, 966. Could be slightly rotated, no, not really. Uh, what's the rarest coin you've found on stream? Only just found your account and loving it. Ah, cool, thank you. Um, I think I found the wavy baseline on stream, which is it's probably within the $300 sort of range. Okay, Jarrah, how's it going? Steve, evening late, but I made it. I was out for dinner. Ah, okay, nice. Well, yeah, I've only just really started, so this is the first roll. So, um, yep, not late at all. Evening late, but I made I did that one. Yep. Have you ever gone through much foreign currency? Um, yes, I little bits. I've only, I haven't got many foreign coins, so it's just on the odd occasion. I just go through the things that I've got, which is really interesting. Good morning, Michael. Good day, Nugget. Good evening from the UK. 10 p.m. in the England. Nice. Here we go. A changeover coin. So these 10 cent coins, 2016, a dollar to four dollars twenty. 6.2 million mintage. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, is it St. Patrick's Day? Is it cool? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yep. All right. Let's do let's do a 20 cent bag. So I've got a bag of 20 cent coins here. Um, plenty of things to look for on the 20s. So hi from New Zealand. G'day, Cameron. Been a good day. Happy with my birthday. Oh, happy birthday there, Marius. Hey, how is your day going? Good, thanks. Good. Happy birthday. That's cool. Happy you've been having a good one. Good morning from Indonesia. G'day, g'day. Morning, Michael from Sunny Tauraji. Tauraji? Probably pronounced that incorrectly, but these 2004s, you look for that pointy top days on the 2004 20 cent coins. Unfortunately, that one's not the one we're looking for, so we'll keep on going. Let's see if we can find one. Good thing about a bag is there's a more coins in a bag of 20 cent coins than there is a roll, so a bit more to search. Uh, my brother just joined, I can hear it. My brother just joined, I can hear it, oh, okay. I uh, love your videos, thank you, so relaxing. Hello from Spain, g'day, Nola, Nolia. Welcome aboard, 1981. Check for a three and a half claw. This one's got four full claws here, but the, if that left hand claw is half the size, it means it's a Canadian minted coin and it's a bit of a collector type one. Well, it's not a collector one, but people like to collect it. Um, New Zealand, here we go. Hold on to this one. 1987, New Zealand 20 cent coin. They don't use this um, this style of coin in New Zealand anymore, this size. So um, I hold on to them. Kiwi, that's the Kiwi animal. Cool. All right, a few more 20 cent coins, about probably halfway through the bag. Whoops. 2010, oh no. Hello, hello, 50p collector. G'day, Michael, how are you going? Good, thank you, P-T-Train. P -train. 
um, from Dover. Nice. Can we guess the year date? Yes, we'll do that in a moment. Let's choose a coin to guess the year. Okay, we'll do this one here. So I guess the year is where you, in the comments, you guess what year you think this coin was made. So I'll give you a little bit of time to have a look at the coin and then enter the date or the year you think. I'm going to go 97, 1997. I'm just going to go there. Yeah, but I'll allow another five seconds before we reveal. So five, four, three, two, one. 2009, yeah, most people were in the 2000s, I could see in the comments here. Probably a good, let's see if anyone got really close. David, 2008, that was really close. Yeah, 2007, that was really close as well, Cameron. Um, yeah, so there you go. 2009, that coin, guess the year. Another 2009. Hey buddy, how are you? Good, good, thank you. I'm going well. Yep. Ah, thanks for the gift there. Thanks. Nugget. All right, just a few more coins in the bag. We'll empty that bag out and we'll go through these 20s. Hello from Sweden. G'day, how's it going? Sometimes these 2001s can be rotated. Let's check that out. Not rotated there. Love these search, uh, these coin searches. Yeah, it's good, good fun. I like searching coins too. Well, this next coin's. Oh, I thought it might have been a bit of an error, but that's just a scratch. I thought it might have been a lamination in the metal across there, but that's just a scratch that's happened sometime in circulation. I'm going to get coin rolls when I get money on my birthday. Oh, awesome. That sounds cool. Hopefully you get some cool stuff. Great, Nelly, how's it going? So that's the 20 cent bag done. So, so far, this is what we've got so far. We've got a New Zealand 20 cent coin and we've got a change over 10 cent coin, two that I'm holding on to. All right, let's do a 50 cent coin roll, $10 worth. The queen, the queen, the queen, the queen, the queen. How much is the Millennium 50 cent coin worth? A bit of a high mintage coin, the Millennium. 16.6 um, .6 million were minted. So $2.40 to $13 if they're in really good condition. Okay, 50 cent coins. I'd love to find an 85s and 9093s. 85s and 9. Oh, and also these ones. Oh, this is cool. Centenary of Federation. Victoria. So yeah, only about two to three million mintage, depending on which state and territory of these Federation coins. <coughs> um, $2.10 to $12.80. That's a recent selling price range on those. But yeah, 1993 changeover coin. Uh, what do you guys use to clean up coins without damaging them? I just give it a wipe with the cloth. I usually just use the side of the bag, and if it's got a bit of surface dirt, just give a little wipe to remove some surface dirt, but that's about all I do. Seventy-three, lower mintage, but this one's very worn, so I'll let it go. But some prices on a seventy-three, a dollar forty to forty dollars. So that sort of gives you a bit of an idea. In pretty ordinary condition, a dollar forty. Um, but up to $40 in perfect condition, pretty much for a 73 50 cent coin. But that one is very worn. Hey, Michael, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. All right, this is what we've got to go. Check these 2010s for rotations. 
Mm, I'd like to find one of those. Um, I have a 1966 50 cent coin. It's a bit dirty. How much do you think it would sell, resell for? I'm not too sure. I'd have to, yeah, it really depends on the coin. And it also depends on your selling skills and things like that, like how you market the coin. And so it's not necessarily, it doesn't always come down to condition. Just um, marketing and selling and stuff like that is a factor. Are you going to open the other roles on YouTube? Yes, I will. Yep. So we're down to the $1 roll and the $2 roll. Okay. But a recent selling price range on the round 50 cent coins is $15 to $40 is a recent selling price range on those. Ooh, there's a few, bit of a shinier. This fourth one down looks a little bit shinier and that's why so that's a great aussie coin hunt z of a zinc cool um how does he rotation work on the 2010 50 cent coins um just before i do oh, i appreciate who whoever did the gift box there thank you um so these coins here great aussie coin hunt two dollars fifty to six dollars is a recent selling price range so the 2010 what you do is to check for rotations you hold everything upright on this side of the coin and you hold it the coin at the top and the bottom and you flip it around and the queen is supposed to be pointing to like three o'clock on the clock so she's supposed to be pointing straight east i suppose uh, but sometimes she's pointing in a different direction and that means it's rotated if that's the case did you get your son's birthday present yes i did get a couple of things um and there's some other things that we'll go shopping for tomorrow too. So, yep. Good memory. Are there any AFL special coins? Um, not in... There's forty. There's a 41, I think, for a great Aussie coin hunt coin. Um, yeah, but none of this for circulation, I don't think, apart from that. G'day, Ange. So we are looking for a non three o'clock angle. That's right. Yep. Although there is one other coin that does that sort of rotates in a different way. It's the indigenous languages, 50 cent coin. Um, I'll just see if I've got one close by my desk. Oh yeah, I do. So this one doesn't, you, when you pick up this coin, you think, oh, this is the natural orientation of the coin. So when you flip it around, you go, oh, that's rotated. And that's what I thought when I first saw this coin too, but I've, I've learned that the natural orientation of this coin is sideways like this. And the reason is they, these are all indigenous languages and they didn't want any languages on top of another language as though the languages above are more superior than the other ones. So they had the languages, languages side by side. So they're all equal. So that when you flip it, that's the natural orientation. So that's a 2017 coin or 2019 coin, sorry. Yep, and that's a circulating coin. Got a free, Ro, I've got a free guide through the link in my TikTok account of six valuable coins you should be looking for. And one of those is a $1 mule coin from the year 2000. And one of those sold for $6,900 a couple of years ago. So that's probably one of the one of the higher ones. Uh, but there are also other things like um, bullseye errors on the colored $2 coins. They can go for tens of, up to the tens of thousands. So, all right, this one's got a little bit of a, an error on the back of that neck of that second kangaroo. So a little spike, probably wouldn't add too much value, but just a very small amount of value, but I like to keep the error. So it's a 2015. This can also have a missing leg. That leg there can be sometimes be missing on these coins, the 2015s. Cool. All right, we'll just zoom out a little bit. Appreciate the gifts there, thank you. Chogum. Is that a spew rue? It looks right like it, but um it's probably a bit of dirt. No, it could be a spew rue. I'll just check that bit there. We'll zoom in. It sort of looks like a bit of dirt, but I it catches when I run the toothpick across it. Oh, no, I think it is just a bit of dirt. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of dirt that was well entrenched. Ah, oh, 
I'd like to find a Spearoo. Spearoos are cool. Okay, I'm going to have to zoom out a bit. Pretty close there. Okay, that brings us to the last roll, $2 coins. But I'm going to head across. So I do have some more rolls here. So I, I am going to continue the search over on my YouTube channel, do a live stream over there. So if you did want to follow along to see a bit more action after this roll, then um, yeah, my YouTube channel, Coin Collecting and Detecting. And an easy way to get to it is you click on my profile picture and then you, in my TikTok account at the top, there's a little play button, which is the YouTube and click on that and it goes to my YouTube channel. All right, guess how many HH coins are in this roll? 25 coins to search. The HH coins, the 1988s and 1989s, they've got a little HH on them. They made a lot of them, so they're not, not usually worth anything more than face value because they made so many of them. But it's just an interesting little exercise. We'll see how many we can find. You can guess in the comments. I'm gonna guess three. I'm going lower today with my guess. Also look for colored coins. All right, there's the first one, HH. What is that one? A 1989. How many new colored coins have been released this year? I don't think any have been released this year for circulation. Two thousand and twelve, bit of a lower mintage year. The two thousand and twelve two dollar coin in pretty good condition. They can sell for a fair bit. So five dollars to fifty dollars is a recent selling price range on that coin. Here we go, second HH, 88, third HH. I feel like we've got one more HH in us. Although we're running low on coins, we've only got three coins to go. Ooh. There you go, so, a bit of a lucky guess for me, but I guess three HHs, and there was three HH coins in that roll. So one, two, three, cool. Now, before we head across to another YouTube live stream, I'll just show a few things that I found in that stream there. So, um, we found a Great Aussie Coin Hunt, Z, Z for Zinc, Z for Zinc, um, a Chogum coin, Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting 2011. That's what the Chogum stands for. This one's got a little bit of an error, just a very small error on the back, blob of metal on the back of that second kangaroo. Just a little spike sticking up. And then we've got a 2012 $2 coin, bit of a lower mintage date, that one there. And then into some 50s changeover coin, a bit dirty, the changeover one there. Um, a centenary of Federation Victoria coin, New Zealand 20 cent coin from 1987 coin, nice. And then we also found a 10 cent changeover coin as well. G'day Willow, how's it going? So my find of the day, maybe this uh, centenary of Federation 50 cent coin, uh, Victoria, see Victoria down here. Yeah, so I found a couple of those yesterday, so I was pretty happy with that. Maybe there's a few in these rolls that I've got at the moment, so happy with that. Okay, well, I'll move those just aside a little bit, and what I'll do is, I'll check a few comments before I head off. Uh, what is your YouTube channel? It's Coin Collecting and Detecting. If you click on my profile picture, um, it's linked in my account. So if you go to my TikTok account, at the top there's a little play button, like the, the YouTube symbol. You click on that, it goes to my YouTube channel. Cool. What does the HH mean? It stands for Horst Hahn, the designer of that side of the coin. Um, yep, it's the initials of the designer of this side of the coin. So um, yeah, it's just his initials down there on the coin. All right, I'll wrap it up here and I'll head over there. Hopefully you'll have a great day or great night wherever you are. And happy birthday, Marius, if you're still here. <laughs> Hope you have a good rest of the day. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.